The main piece in this exhibition is a video installation that uses a Michael Jackson impersonator and a model aeroplane going through some sheet glass. Yeah, that was a really interesting process. We worked with a great thing, Michael impersonator called Jason Jackson, who's a lovely guy and a real character and had all the gear and had the moves and um, he really completely lives it. It's always a huge Michael Jackson fan. That's really where the key impetus came from to include him to draw a line between pop tragedy on one hand and real human tragedy on the other hand. Obviously both images are very loaded. September 11 is loaded with all sorts of ideas of modern worship, worship of economic power in the World Trade Centers themselves, the worship of a god you would die for. Then on the other side of the, the spectrum there's Michael and that's a whole kind of pop worship and celebrity worship. So I guess combining the two they create a kind of piece of iconography. The purpose of this show isn't by any means to try and say that the human tragedy of 9-11 is in any way comparable to the death of one person in Michael Jackson. It's more about drawing the two together to create a kind of snapshot of the world we live in. It's the nature of the world we live in that we jump online and we're looking at Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk one second and someone jumping out of the World Trade Center is the next and some doggy porn in you know, Lithuania the next second, and this is a little bit about that mashup of extremes. So the venue is this amazing old building on the corner of Forbes and Liverpool Street that until about two days ago was a Christian science church. And when it came up, it really sort of synchronized with this group of ideas, and it just made sense to use it for this show.